Hi. So we're gonna be talking about the five books you have to read. These are all books that I have read. Some of them are wildly popular and some maybe not so much. They're just, you have to read them. But since this is my first video, I will also be doing kind of some random facts about me kind of intertwined in the video, just so you get to know me a little bit. So three random things about me. I am currently 25 years old. I just turned 25 in January. I have lived in California my entire life and I still live here. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else either. Number three, um, I have a college degree in criminal justice. Now moving on to the first book that you absolutely have to read. It's The Kite Runner by, Ka by Khaled Hosseini. I probably butchered that, but this is the author. Amazing book. This book is so heart-wrenching. It's beautiful, but at the same time, it will rip your heart out. It's the story of Amir and Hassan. They both live in Afghanistan, but Amir is the son of a wealthy servant and Hassan is not. He's kind of, he's, I believe the servant's, Amir is the son of a wealthy man and Hassan's father is the servant of Amir's family. There's kind of that weird dynamic, but Amir and Hassan are like this. They grow up super, super close. Their friendship is beautiful, but then obviously a time jumps and um, we are with Amir who is lives in California now and he's all grown up and he kind of goes, well, he goes back to Afghanistan to figure out what happened to Hassan and just kind of rediscover his past. It's a beautiful, beautiful story. It was one of the books that I read probably like two years ago and I just remember being hooked. Like I was so engaged and it really kind of awakened that love of reading for me thanks to this book. It's just, it's amazing. I, I so recommend it. There's even some, oops, some images in here. Did I even say what it was called? It's called The Kite Runner. It's really, really popular, but it's an amazing book and I highly, highly recommend it. I think I gave it like a five out of five and I'm not gonna lie. I was for sure in tears after reading this one. It's so, so special and I will continue to recommend it to everybody. Okay, before we jump into the next book, book number two, um, I do want to say I kind of have always loved reading when I was younger. I remember going to the school library and I love, love, love reading. Shout out Junie B. Jones for getting me hooked. But then as I grew up, there was a few years where I didn't really read as much and I would kind of pick up a book here and there. Um, but as of like two years ago, I really, really just rediscovered my love and I this last year actually I read 52 books. I know, that's kind of a lot. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully I can read just as many this year. The next book I will be talking about is pretty popular and more recent. It is Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. I read this book last year and it is a romance. It's about two people, Macy and Elliot. They are best friends growing up. We kind of get some insight into how their relationship was growing up. It is a best friends to lover trope, strangers to lovers, a bunch of like typical romance tropes you will find in this book. That's why I think it's such a great romance because it's more than one trope. And it's dual timeline, alternating timeline. So we get a little bit of Elliot's point of view. We get Macy's point of view. I love that because it just kind of gives you insight into both characters. But this book is so freaking good. It also is kind of heart-wrenching. <laughs> Um, I won't say why, but you have to read it. Trust me, if you're looking for romance that you don't want to forget about, this is a good one. Ugh. I don't even know what to say. Like, it's, it's so good. Also, another thing about this book, I find that when I read books about people who love reading or love books, I'm like double as engaged as I normally would be. If you are kind of like me in that sense, that like, if you love reading about people loving books, this book has that as well. So it's like a triple whammy. This book is amazing. It just, I wanna reread it already. I read it probably last year or two years ago. I checked it out from the public library. That's how I read it, but I bought it because I knew it was gonna be one of my favorite books and I do wanna reread it in the future. Another random set of facts. I am left-handed, so love that about me. I've been with my current boyfriend for five years. We live together and we also actually have a YouTube channel. It's kind of, travel centric so i will link it below if you're interested moving on to book number three it's called the tattooist of auschwitz by heather morris this book is 
based on a true story, the main character in this book was a real person. It's still historical fiction though, so kind of keep that in mind. I remember when I picked this up was from like a public library, didn't think much about it. I think I'm a sucker for like historical fiction books that are based on like World War II. Just because growing up I had like an obsession with the Holocaust, it's just always been something that really, really spikes my interest. Grab this. And I just remember by the end of it, I was bawling. Like, I think this is probably one of the books that I have cried the most over. It's incredible. The good thing about if you do read this and super enjoy it, the author actually has um, a few other books, if you can see back here. it's One of them is called Three Sisters, and the other is called Silka's Journey. Silka is actually a character in The Tattooist of Auschwitz, so if you... Sorry, if you really enjoyed this book and you like Silka and would want to follow her journey, you could. But anyway, to go in a little bit more depth about it, so like the title says, it's The Tattooist of Auschwitz and it is based on a true story. So if that interests you, check this book out. It again will rip your heart out. I didn't really pre-plan my facts, so now I'm kind of like, what else is there about me? But I do have a bookstagram, so if you're interested in all things books, I will link it down below and you can follow or just, I don't know, visit it if you want. Talking about books and love for books, this is another one of the books that you have to read. It's called The Book of Lost Names by Kristen Harmel. Like I mentioned, I'm a sucker for books that are about books and the love of books and book lovers and this is definitely at the top of my list for that like category. This book is about a woman named Ava Traub Adams who is a semi-retired librarian in Florida. So she's like past her, she's like pretty old. And this is like in the first few pages of the book, you kind of get introduced to her and she finds the book of lost names. It sparks something inside of her because she has seen this book once in her life or multiple times in her life, but way back in the day. So she's like, where is this book? I need to track it down and we follow that journey. But at the same time, we go back in time to when she's younger and it kind of explains her life and how the book of lost names is like relevant to her life now this is also a historical fiction book focused around world war ii so if you haven't noticed there's a trend i love books like that but this book i read this one last year i think and it was my favorite book of the entire year it's also a romance so it's like a romance historical fiction it's world war ii it's about book lovers it's literally like my perfect book in one book it's just beautiful it's also based on a true story last book that i think you have to read is called seven days in june i do not own this book but i'm working on it it's a romance <laughs> i mentioned this book it's a romance it's realistic it's raw it's funny heartbreaking entertaining like there's so many adjectives i could use to describe this book it is one of reese's book club picks and that's kind of how i discovered this book i love reese's book club so i always try to read the books that are in that book club so so glad that i was introduced to this book because i absolutely love it so this book is about ava mercy she's a single mom she's a best-selling erotica writer and she's at an event where she meets shane hall who is our other kind of main character and he is an award-winning novelist super super popular but kind of kind of reclusive so he kind of stays out of the spotlight but they meet kind of in public and then we learn that Ava and Shane actually have history because back in the day when they were teenagers, they spent seven days together and were crazy in love and then something happened obviously and they didn't stay together and then they we flash forward and they meet again. So uh, it's just so good. I want to reread this book as well. It's just one of those books that you don't forget about and also, like I mentioned, it's funny. So it's not like your typical super serious book. It's very realistic. It's about, you know, a single mother and her relationship with her daughter. Eva Mercy, our main character, has physical disability. So it's great representation. It's just, I love this book so much. So yeah, I definitely think everybody needs to read it, especially if you're a romance lover. And actually, now that I think about it, they all, I mean, she's a best-selling, you know, writer. So it's about books too. There's a trend here. Okay, so those are my five books that I think you have to read, but I am going to mention two more. Um, I don't have them with me because I don't own these, but I'm gonna throw them up here because they're very, very special and they're just kind of honorable mentions. The first one is Layla by Colleen Hoover. This is kind of a paranormal thriller story. I think it was like the second um, Colleen Hoover book that I read. And I feel like a lot of people have 
different opinions about this book either they love it or they hate it and there's like no in between i loved it it's a romance but it's a bit of a thriller mysterious paranormal stuff going on as well so i think that really drew me in and then I just remember having like tears in my eyes by the end of the book so yeah it just it stuck with me and that was also one of my favorite books that i read last year so if it's one of my favorite books i have to mention it and the second book that i'm going to mention is called pack up the moon by by Kristen Higgins. I almost forgot her name, but her name is Kristen Higgins. This book I literally actually read like last week. I just finished it. It's brand like spanking you in my brain. So it's super, super fresh. And I just want to say it's, it's beautiful. It's a book about um, grief. It's a book about love. And it's just a book about like your grief journey in life. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just it's beautiful it's raw it's really really sad also so kind of be prepared for that it's just so beautiful the characters are super super lovable and that's like one of the things that i love about some books it's like if you can make me fall in love with your main character or surrounding characters i'm like in love i'm gonna read the book because it's so so special to have a book where you're like rooting for someone you know so i definitely definitely recommend this book uh, maybe look up some triggers those are kind of the two books that I wanted to mention because they're both so special to me and I really, really like them, but they're not quite the five books that I think everyone must read. But my camera is actually dying, so before it cuts me off, thank you for watching, and that's it. Bye!